Good morning, students and staff of Zealand High Schools. Thanks so much for joining us for the Morning Announcement Show. I'm May. And I'm Sheldon. Let's get started with the 11th show of the year. May 8th through 10, the cafe is running a Tulip Time breakfast special. Homemade smoothie and donut for 210. See store hours for Wednesday and Thursday are 7.15 a.m. to 11.15 a.m. Friday, the sea store will be open from 7.15 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. We've seen the posters. You've heard the previews. You're slightly curious. The Zeon High School Orchestra, Yes Plural, will present a 23-minute medley of Star Wars medleys on Wednesday, May 22nd, in the DeWitt Auditorium at 7. Tickets for the concert are $5. These can be purchased at the PA office or through any orchestra student. Check your calendar, reserve the date, invite some friends, buy the tickets, be a part of the extravaganza. Please check the lost and found table outside the East Main office for items you might have misplaced. There are many coats, sweatshirts, and lunch bags. Attention current sophomores and juniors with a 3.5 or better cumulative GPA. You are eligible to apply for the National Honor Society for the next year. Applications can be found in the counseling office of your home school. They must be returned to your home school's counseling office by Friday, May 31st. No late applications will be accepted. Any current Zealand West student interested in playing football next year should attend a meeting in room D116, Mr. Radevoog's <coughs> room, at either 7.10 a.m. or 11.05 a.m. on Thursday, May 9. You will receive info about the Olivet Camp and summer opportunities. If you are unable to attend either of these meetings, contact Coach Shilato. The Great Lake Mary Maritime Academy is hosting a Maritime Career Day event on Thursday, May 16. Attendees will get to tour a 224-foot-long vessel and hear about the career opportunities in the Great Lakes freighter industry. Check out the info in the guidelines section of the announcements for more details. Friday, May 10 is the next FCA meeting. They meet at 6.55 a.m. in room 121 at East and all East and West students and staff are welcome to join them for a time of food, fun, and fellowship. This will be the seniors' last one. We'll be back after this brief message. Yep. Hello, how are you doing today? Horrible. I failed, I think I failed my math test. I fell asleep in English and I'm going to the SRC. Here, have a smoothie. It's guaranteed to make your day better. Whoa, well, I actually got an A and I don't have to go to the SRC. Oh, you? Hmm, that right there is the power of the smoothie. Stop by the school store to get your own. I want one of these every day. Wow, that was a fantastic video. Make sure you get those smoothies. And now for some sports. The East baseball team split a doubleheader with Hamilton Tuesday night. Losing game one, six to two, but winning the second game two to zero. Adam Berghorst pitched well in the game one, game one, only allowing two runs and four hits over seven innings. Ethan Hotelling pitched a complete game one hit shutout in game two. The boys lacrosse team defeated Grand Haven 7-1 Tuesday night. Eli Van Single scored three goals for Zealand and West softball team beat Holland Tuesday night 10-0. Lily Brower went 3-for-3 three three with two doubles. Claire Barkle was 2-for-2 two two to lead the Ducks offensively. Good job, girls. The West Varsity golf team defeated the Wolves from Wyoming in a non-conference duel held at Grand Eagle Golf Course on Tuesday. The Ducks were led by Connor Halwerda with a 43, Walter Bouvier added to a 41, and Cameron Weaver a 48. Good job, boys. And that's for the show. Thanks so much for watching. Please enjoy the rest of your day. I'm May. And I'm Sheldon. And I'm Emma. <laughs> we are asking you to always remember to be, be nice. nice.